I'm not mistaken, August 7th, 2020, Bill Barr was the Attorney General and Donald Trump was the President. So uh, explain to me where the two-tiered system of justice comes into play. And then the WhatsApp message you have, I believe, is dated June 6, 2017. Joe Biden is not Vice President or even a candidate for President at that time. So where is the direct connection to some sort of criminal malfeasance within these two pieces of evidence? Well, I think the facts speak for themselves. There's over 700 pages of examples of where people should be very concerned. When you're talking about um, uh, the, what was your first question? It doesn't matter who's in the White House. We need to make sure that the Department of Justice works for all people and doesn't treat those who are politically connected or wealthy much differently. But you suggested that Don, Joe Biden being the president now is unfairly treating Donald Trump in his indictments? What I'm talking about is the 700 pages that we have before us, which is all the information that came from the IRS whistleblowers. Can you explain the timing then of the August 6th WhatsApp message? Why is that evidence of some wrongdoing? I'm not an expert on the timeline. I would love to have... Um, President Biden and his family to tell us about all the timelines. But if he's not the president or the vice president at that time, where where's the wrongdoing? He wasn't even a candidate for president at that time. He was a candidate. In, on, in August 6th of so 2017? Apparently, uh, apparently, what source are you with? I'm with NBC. So apparently you'll never believe us. I'm not saying um, I don't believe you. I'm that, asking you for, I'm asking you a very direct question. You presented a piece of evidence that you say came on August 6, 2017, that demonstrates that Joe Biden was using political influence to help his son. Which, if he wasn't a political figure at that time, the first WhatsApp message you put up, how does that demonstrate that there's some sort of political influence being put over him if at that time he is not a political, he's not an elected official? I'm definitely not going to pinpoint one item. I think we've outlined... You presented it. You're, it numerous. was your first thing that you brought up. So apparently you don't agree with it. So it's not that I don't agree with it. With I'm it. asking you to explain it. I'll take the next question. 